questions that need addressing, huh? Like how we fresh in our adolescence and wrecking them. Hand them tracks, he destined to make a mess of them. Snapping next to records in a matter of seconds. Check him, son. Lost in erection and found it in an aggressive nun. Fucking chin checking punks until he's out of breath and done. No effects on these dope and incest sessions, son. is live. I'm excited to be here. I um, I was excited about the guest. Either way, it's the guest of the week, spotlight streamer of this week, Mosh Critiz. Um, a couple things first we always discuss. Um, as usual, questions and answers are at the end of the show and the post show will kind of wrap up things. Uh, Mosh Critiz will be in the chat. So he has said. Um, we'll see. <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, but I won't respond in the chat live during the during the show. I think that's rude to the guest. We'll get to all that stuff afterwards. And as always, you won't see any um, uh, follow, thank yous, or donations, or subs, or any of those thank yous. That's held to the end as well. I don't like to interrupt the guest flow. <laughs> Although in this case, uh, maybe. Either way, um, I, I would love to dilly-dally here some more, but I guess, um, I guess let's just get it over with. Let's go to the guest. <sighs> All right, can you hear me? Yeah. Hopefully you yeah, it's hot in here. Jesus. Welcome to the show. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Mashkatiz. He is the spotlight streamer for this week. He is a TK rep. Somehow, he is has been streaming for quite some time. I, forever, man. That's what it seems like. E e either way, let's just keep going. Let's just power through. Okay. It's your show. Uh, we usually start the show off in the same way. Each week, Mashkatis, thank you so much again for being on the show. We start the, the show off each week with, what are you drinking? This week, I'm drinking oh, what? Um, Titan IPA. Titan, a single IPA. Oh, it's delicious. That sounds good. Hipsters must love that. What are you drinking, sir? Lean. Mm. Codeine and promethazine, you know. I got two. Two times. Lean. Yeah. Let's go into the next portion of the show, which is in the beginning. So here, uh, what we like to do, Masha Tease, I don't know if you've ever seen the show before. No, I mean, I don't got I don't have time for all that. Is we like to get a little bit of an idea of where you've come from, where you started streaming. A lot of people uh, started streaming forever ago, you know. They started streaming years and years ago. Some started streaming in, in as recently as March, you know, April of this year, and are yeah. already kind well, of. Well, you know, some have success. We've some people in the last couple of weeks, <clears throat> who, uh, yeah, uh, who, who, who have been a little more recent streamers, a little newer streamers, but have come a huge way in the span of just a couple of months. So I'm interesting, uh, or interested in what sort of are your beginnings, if you can. I just want to remind you, please, again, that um, we do have a mature language filter. On the channel, so the audience knows that we're a mature language. Stream. Man, please. I'm an adult. Control yourself. Okay, come on. Okay, I think I know how to talk to my audience. Okay, I think I know what they expect. Um, no, in the beginning, I don't know. I um, <clears throat> I think I started off like everybody else. Uh, from a young age, I was balling out of control, but started playing video games when I was a little. You know, the the oldest video games you can remember, some of the best video games you can ever remember. Um, Superman 64, Nintendo 64, you remember that game? The best game of all time. Champion, I'm the champion of that game. What? What the hell is that? Who? Did someone send him this? 
What is that on the screen? I just said you that. that. The cat is the... Why is it winking at me? It's the image you sent. I didn't send that. You told me that you wanted to put up there. Do you send this? Do you send that to him? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not in charge of who sends what. <sighs> just saying this is the real image. Fine, I'll switch it. I'm sorry. Continue in the beginning. Go ahead. Jesus Christ. Okay, you're throwing me off my game. I started a couple months ago. Um, a lot of quick success, you know, as usual. Um, <clears throat> I didn't... I didn't really need too much help. I, I see you have something on there about, um, about communities. I guess we can talk about that later. But, yeah, I don't know. Basically, I started off playing playing Call of Duty, um, tournament style, um, Halo, Halo Wars, Halo for Xbox. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? You're trying to say something to me? Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, the best shooters of all time, the most tricky... I am trying. I'm sorry, I did not mean to interrupt you. Christ. Um, yeah, you start up playing, uh, you know, uh, all the best shooters of all time. The, the best games of all time. Okay. That's kind of where where, where well, little I mean, Mashkati started. Thank you for sharing that story. And and, and that it's it's interesting to hear. Uh, I like to do this part, portion of the show for every every guest that comes on because it's interesting to hear where everyone sort of comes from when they yeah, first start streaming. Some more interesting so, stories. Okay. Uh, if you started streaming, you know, just a few months ago, you're already here. And if I'm hearing correctly, you're already on your way to partner. This is what you're telling me. Naturally. Look at this. You can't tell from the hair? Huh. You seen those, that, that mm. PewDiePie? You seen his hair? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I can know to that. Partner push. push yeah. No, that's, uh... It's partner push time. You seen it on Twitter? It's very... You... It's very kind of you to alert everyone to the fact that you're on a partner push. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. How else are they going to know? They know who support now. I put partner push. I made affiliate. About two weeks later, I decided now it's time for partner. Okay. So now we got to gather everyone up. Everyone's okay. got to kind of. Well, I mean, that, I guess, takes us into the next uh, topic, if you don't mind. I swear to God. It's your show. Okay, great. So um, part of where people start is a sense of community, a sense of um, belonging, a sense of camaraderie in the in the um, in the in the Twitch universe. And right. I can't. Go ahead. I'm mm -hmm. I'm waiting on you. Okay. Um, I'll just continue. So uh, <clears throat> I am a part of the Twitchkins community, as, as we talked about at the top oh, of the show. That's, that's, do you get an award for that? And, you know, that, that community is yeah. so helpful to each other, and it's so interesting to be a part of, and there's so many different uh, people and different ideas and different uh, backgrounds, which is sort of, I mean, kind of what we do on the show, is, is, is discover backgrounds of different people. I could talk a little bit about mine. I've, I've posted a couple times before, and in, in, in uh, sort of walls of text, if you will. <laughs> <clears throat> Did someone ever actually read that? You read that? Nobody read that. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. So, uh, sort of where I began, you know, four something years ago, I finally made this show, and yeah, okay, thank you. Yes, thank you very much for those long time. And during the show. Uh, you know, we like to highlight other people just from the community to try and boost them up. You know, the, get, everybody rises with the water level is what I like to say. Oh, God. That's fucking awful. You should think of something better like, um, I'm going to get to the top. <clears throat> we'll just push everybody down on the way up. You know what I mean? Drown them all, float up on the bodies. So, uh, you're you're a part of the Twitch Kittens. You're, you're also part of your own community, as, as I understand, it's Hero Squad. Yeah, Hero Squad, son. Um, can you tell us a little bit about maybe the background of of how you created Hero Squad, how how that came to be, and also your first uh, decision to join the Twitch Kittens? I mean, I guess. Yeah, we started Hero Squad s shortly after I started my my push for partner, which is of course three weeks after I started streaming. And the community is basically like any other community. You can come there. You can you can check out the Discord. We have one of those. I got some uh, some some nerdy people to set that up for me. But basically, uh, it could come in. It could look at the selfies that I post. Um, 
they could look at uh, the cool music that I put on there. You know what I mean? It's all my own music, of course. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the, it, it's it's basically used to um, support uh, each so, other. Okay, you, you started here. I'm sorry. I, I this is like the third time. I did not mean to interrupt okay. you. Okay, I'm the guest. I apologize. It's embarrassing. So, when when you say you created Hero Squad so long ago, what was the what was the goal of it? The the, the goal was to um, just a, a way for you to sort of climb the climb the ladder, get your supporters to rally behind you while also supporting them. Or oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> If it works out like that, you know, okay, no, uh, it's it's more like <clears throat> we came up with this plan, and when I say me, I'm in my brain trust, which is myself, and um, my my friend Hank. He we sort of decided that the the best way to support the community is to get partner. Okay, if one person gets partner, then everyone else benefits in some way. Okay, I will tell you that way once I get partner. Then we'll then we'll come up with something. But basically. Everyone can just keep hosting and rating and supporting me. And then eventually I will get partner. And then when that happens, I mean, sky's the limit, okay? All right? No. Uh, you know, I'll support other people in the community sometimes. Some people want to, you know, we have a little bit of a hierarchy, a loyalty program, if you will. You donate a certain amount of money to me, I'll tweet you out, maybe, okay? You donate a certain amount of bits, hey, I'll follow you on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> The uh, Twitch kittens, you joined them about a, a two months ago because I remember welcoming you on this part of what I do as I'm part of the welcome team. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's, does that make you feel good? And and um, so, you know, I, I welcomed everybody and I see a little bit of the background. I remember seeing in your 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 intro post, you know, you, you made a little bit of a, of a reference to a follow for follow thing. If people can follow you, you give it a little follow. Um, you know, it's not really too much what we do in this community, but um, we seem to have had success from it somehow. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I, of course. I spoke to you a little bit about it then, that uh, that's not really what this community is about. This community is more about um, the relationships, the connections you build um, during your duration here, and, and, and making these sort of long-lasting friendships. As I've mentioned a few times, I talk um, about my friend po Yeah, I got it. Pony plays, right? How many times are you going to mention this guy's name? Okay. Jesus Christ. Are you dating? Okay, I, I, I understand that you uh, don't care about that. No one does. I talk about ponies a lot. I understand. Okay. I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is that there are lasting relationships that you can have, right? There are... Um, <clears throat> There's, I've been friends with these people for many months now. I've been friends with, with some of my old community uh, for years now, for a decade or more. So what I'm That's trying to get of is, 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 is sort of all, you know, uh, two parts. One is to let you know that we're not really a follow, follow community. We're more of a, you know, a, a close-knit family. Mm. Okay. And, family. you know, also I'm wondering what, how did you get Streamer Spotlight? Well, like I was starting to say, first of all, <clears throat> when you get to affiliate, okay, the next step is partnership. That's going to happen pretty soon. It's going to happen a week later-ish. That's roughly what we think. Okay. My upper trajectory is like this. It's through the roof. Like like this, maybe. Maybe more like that. Okay. Look at this hair. Okay. I wouldn't have got this hair dyed this color if I wasn't, uh, if it wasn't already bound for all the awards there are. The, the spotlight stream is, okay, that's, that's, that's great. Okay. I help people out if I can, for the certain amount of money that they have to donate. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, you know, I have 15 million followers on Twitch. What's that? What's that? You listening to me? I'm trying to talk. Yeah. Oh no, no. I'm sorry. I was clearing my throat. The. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so great. Okay. So you're sort of looking for some support from the community. While also offering to support them, I, I think I don't I think remember saying that. Say. I didn't say that. I think I'll just I'll just say it for you. That wasn't okay. what I said. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Okay. So uh, just a min uh, just a minute ago, we we mentioned just a little bit about the um, the streamer spotlight, and I would love to talk about that uh, just for a minute, if that's okay. Uh, sure. One of the things that um, 
uh, that we do on the show, obviously, is we host Stream Spotlight every week. But we like to find out uh, sort of, you know, how everyone's tenure has been, because we usually do this interview at the latter half of the uh, Stream Spotlight week. Also, um, any lessons you've learned? Maybe you've uh, come around on a couple of things. Maybe you've you've um, y- you've realized how you can improve your stream, realize how you can improve things about your own persona. Maybe well, as a streamer, I'm not. I'm not. What do you think I have to I'm learn? Not saying that you are a flawed person or a flawed. Okay, person. you see where I am. What I'm saying is everyone can learn a little bit from each other. There's good advice every place. Are you patronizing me? I'm not. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not patronizing you. I'll walk out of here. Sorry. Uh, I'm just wondering uh, what you can share with the viewers today and maybe any viewers you might see. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I can't work my own thing. Uh, you know, the next spotlight to come. What has been your experience this week with the streamer spotlight? Go ahead. Oh, my experience this week? Uh <clears throat> I've been baller as hell, as always, this week, just like any other week. I don't know what you expect someone like me to be able to teach you, okay? There's, there's, there's a certain level of innate, um, <clears throat> a certain level of innate greatness and, and, and fame and uh, a little term I, like to, uh, I coined called ballerifferousness. And... I can't show that to anyone. I can't put that in any kind of English language. This language hasn't been invented yet. It's... Yeah, the, I, um Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Can I... What... <clears throat> what I'm... What I noticed was that uh, Stream Spotlights before you had posted uh, some information about themselves into the Spotlight Streamer um, channel that you have access to. And oh, yeah, I saw that. a lot of it tends to be good advice or... Well, um, good for who, though? Or uh, maybe guidelines to follow, lessons learned is a really good thing. It's important to this channel, important to myself as a, as a, as a broadcaster. <laughs> is that what you consider yourself? Well, <laughs> I'm doing fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. And Looks like it's it. important to this channel to, to sort of get an idea of, uh, of not only where you came from, but... Um, give back to the community in terms of uh, things like uh, maybe technical issues you've experienced previously, maybe things that you uh, thought about streaming when you first started, and then uh, maybe in your case, in the last like month, and uh, what you've learned in the last 16 streams, and figure it out um, <clears throat> to improve your stream, and maybe you can pass some of that information on to our viewers tonight. Uh, maybe. How would I be able to tell you any of that? Do I look like someone who has the time to set up his own studio, his own technical things for his streaming? I come in, I get up every day fresh out of bed, okay? I pour a couple of drinks, I, I perm my hair, and I get ready for the stream, okay? I have people that do that kind of thing for me. I have nothing I can show you, okay, Te- technically. Okay, if you want advice in terms of how to be as good as I am, okay, <clears throat> as I was just saying, it would be impossible for me to give that information to you. It is inborn. It's instinct. Okay, the, I, this level of entertainment is impossible to pass on to someone else. I could try. Okay, I could try. I will give you the first couple of steps. Number one, always be yourself only if you're good enough. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, uh, you know, we have this Why? stream spot that we have this you? joke, you know, it's kind Why of a funny inside joke of the community because we're all, uh, you know, most of us are close family. And we have this joke when Kitty was first spotlight streamer that there's a little emote that's a flashlight and we, we that became the icon of the spotlight streamer, the, oh. the, the banner <laughs> call, if you will. A joke? And I just, I happen to have the award here and since, you know, I, I thought I would um, pass the baton to you if it were not... It's not as though I, you know, it's not as though I've gotten the spotlight streamer yet, but somehow you did. Well, so I mean, um, this is the. Um, there's a reason for that. <laughs> you know, I just want to take a second and talk about the importance. It's your show. Let me just. Um, okay. The spotlight streamer is important uh, to a lot of people, and it's important not only 
from the standpoint that it can help uh, a newer streamer out to get where they need to go because we've had veteran streamers on as well. We had Jim who's been streaming for a while. We've had um, Ponies not been streaming. I mean, maybe six months or near a month. I or I'm sorry, near a year. People actually and, watch this. You know, some people are streaming a little longer, some people, some people stream this? a little shorter amount of time. But e either way, the Spotlight Streamer is sort of this coveted, um, coveted thing, and it's it's not to be taken lightly necessarily. It should be seen as something to uh, as not only a tool to boost your own stream to where you want to go, but also as a tool to um, help others out beneath you. Um, not only in the in the in the aspect of raids and hosts, which you talked about several times about the kind of etiquette for ending a raid and or I'm sorry, ending a stream, but also, uh, you know, it's it's not just about the one person. It's more about the community and what maybe that one person has to share uh, to others. And I I don't want to. I don't. I, uh, I don't want to give this away uh, lightly and say that... Um, <clears throat> are you just going to keep going? And, and have it not be meaningful uh, to the next person um, who is somehow you. And, it, you know, you should take your time to realize that oh it's not God. only about enjoying being in the spotlight, but also about helping everyone else come up with you. Those, those people that we're talking to right now, those viewers in the channel right now, myself included, are people that support you to get to where you want to go. Well, so why wouldn't they? don't mm -hmm. take them for granted. Don't take those connections for granted. Don't take um, Fred here for granted. <clears throat> and um, I hope that you are hearing what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Everyone heard you. Forever. Do you do anything brief? That's, it's embarrassing. Really? Throw it on the ground? Jesus Christ, you're a child. Thank you for whatever the hell this is, okay? It, it, is this your award? Is this what you think everything is? This goddamn spotlight shit. What, what am I gonna do, tell, I'm gonna tell ghost stories? You want me to tell ghost stories today? Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize to you. Okay? I'm going to take such good care of it. It's going to be my f my favorite thing. Okay? I'm going to I'm going to put it in my award case. I'm going to treasure it forever. No, it's fine. Everything's okay. Okay. Let's um <laughs> Let's take a, a quick break. Okay, let me just, I need to, there's an important something I have to do real fast. I'm going to, I'm going to leave you for just a moment. Go okay. Yes. Maybe we'll spice up the show. He will take great care of you. Okay. I, I will be back. As this guy's going to go cry himself to sleep tonight. As soon as Okay. Possible. Is that what you're going to do? Okay. Be right back. Let, let's, let's let the men talk. Okay. Shit. I'm the spotlight streamer, okay? There's a reason for that. Number one, okay? 15 million followers, trajectory like this. We already talked about it. Like this, okay? I'm gonna be the next big thing. You know how there's some people in the community, maybe, maybe, get a little time on the front page, get an hour here, get an hour there, couple hours here, couple hours there. Great. Every single day, Dr. Ballasaurus Rex at twitchtv.com, you know where it is. Okay, you already know the channel. There's no one in this channel that doesn't follow that channel already. Okay, you know where greatness is. On front page, every single day, I'm already in talks with Twitch for it. Okay, they're not gonna want this. They're not gonna want this on the front page. You know what they're gonna want. Okay, but no, thank you so much for volunteering me for this. Or What the hell was that? What the hell was that? You giving yourself a pep talk? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you for. Hopefully, everything, everyone survived. Well, we had to go ahead with the interview and 
and make it a little better from where it was. Okay, we tell people we're how things move are. On to the next topic, if that's all right with you, <clears throat> um, Mosh Cortez. It's fine. It's your show. Whatever you want to do. So one of the other things we like to do after talking about this. Yes. Okay. I guess I am out of breath. Thank you. Um, I have a conversation with our program director. Oh, here they go. And we will we will finish the show. Oh, good. <laughs> We're good. Gonna finish it. For your ratings going down um, like this. So. The next thing we like to talk about is called the five year plan. That's what I call it. And okay. And is that the first time we worked uh, that thing? This basically means is what what are your goals uh, coming up? Uh, do you have anything uh, planned after the spotlight? Not that the spotlight is the end all be all. Should we be honest? No. But <laughs> we, so I like you to think? figure out sort of where our guests are going to go with their stream in the future. If there's any. Um, plans in terms of partnership, which you are somehow, somehow, it's, it's not a logical conclusion. I don't, I don't know what's going on. You're somehow pretty close to partner, and I, I, I really hope you can keep going and get to where you want to go and just go, just go. Oh, there. I'm going. Don't do that. Don't I'm going to, I'll go so hard. I'll be so happy for you. So I would love, love to hear about um, what you think about your journey forward, where you want to take this thing. Well, like we said, we got partnership coming up. <clears throat> Affiliate last week, last two weeks. Partnership is next. Obviously, it's the next trajectory up. Remember that. Um, <clears throat> I also have some, th some things cooking on the, on the outside. There's obviously, um, you know, someone is the ballerist status is, uh, that I am and the persona that I am. You know that um, we're going to dip into music a little bit. So I have a, um, a mixtape coming up. It's going to be out, um, I think, next month or so. It's going to be out on Def Jam Records. It's pretty dope. Look forward to it. Um, I got some hot tracks on there with, um, with Earl Sweatshirt. He's a feature, you know. I know he's a more established name, but uh, you know, 50 million followers. It's 50 million guaranteed sales. So we got that coming up. We got the partnership thing I just told you about. We're gonna be on the front page a little bit. I was thinking maybe I join some kind of stream team. We'll figure it out, you know, whichever one puts on, you know, the best offer. There's a there's a lot of promises right now. You never really know, but. <clears throat> I mean, the majority of the plan is basically great, great. get that's, the. Uh, that's great. Uh, I hope so that uh, I hope you do have success. I hope you do have a lot of success in launching that that mixtape. That sounds that sounds wonderful. It sounds like it'll be a big hit, and I look forward to it. And I hope that everybody I does. Guess, um, support you. In some way. <laughs> <clears throat> no, of course they will. But do you have any, you have any other plans uh, besides the partnership and the mixtape? Sure. Is there anything else in the um, well, you know the the mixtape is going to be hot. Obviously, it's got the top five hottest rappers on there. You guys know who they are. Okay, we already talked about it on Twitter. We uh, uh, also, obviously, everyone in the rap game gets into Hollywood a little bit. Look at this face. Okay. Look at this hair. Look at this swag. You know what it is. Um, so I got some movies coming up. I'm going to be in the next um, Expendables. Expendables 6. <laughs> uh, I got my own TV show coming up. It's basically, it, it, it's based on my stream life here. It's a little bit like a vlog but in that I have someone else taping me doing uh, uh, cool things around the house, you know. Uh, my life is dope and I, and I, uh, and I do dope shit. That, that's just kind of what my whole uh, show is going to be about, basically. Great. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I think that maybe uh, a, movie, a movie career is the right way to go. I think so. Once you attain that level of fame, 
That's well, yeah. <laughs> you you look at someone you just know who's a star. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Oh, okay, that's great. Um, so, okay, that's enough for goals. Let's. That was horrific enough. Let's go to the next topic of balance, <clears throat> and okay. I'm very interested to hear about this. Where? So, uh, so a lot of times, oh, sorry, I put up the wrong picture. Yeah. A lot of times, I um, we talk about balance on the show. We talk about uh, the the fact that stream life tends to be overwhelming for some people. And okay. There are jobs, yeah, I mean, some. And there are commitments outside of the stream world, not involved with um, maybe streaming or maybe mixtapes or movies or acting classes. Who needs classes? But other things that are important in life, like jobs and income and um, family, is very important. <clears throat> sure. Uh, yeah, family. Friends, social life, yeah. things like that. How is it that you, a mish, mish, I was about to call you mishmash. I don't, I don't know why. What are you, oh, mosh you're insulting me? How, how do you find a good balance in your stream life versus your other, maybe, professional endeavors? Maybe. Family it's a fair question. Applications. That's a fair question. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, everyone's got a family to get to this level. I mean, you know, you're going to have your fair share of, of, of admirers, of, of, of groupies, those who are interested in following you around. I have, a, I have children. You know, not everybody has that kind of responsibility, okay? I have 13 children, okay? And what, you know what's worse? Time zones, buddy. Time zones are a nightmare, okay? Look at, got these. Has to keep track of, of of what time it is and all and all the baby's time zones. Okay, so so I know when it's about to be bedtime. I'm gonna call them up. But I I. Yeah. It's the end of my career. It's the end. What's that? Are you whispering? I can hear you. Are you sulking? No, I'm. Uh, yeah, no, I'm listening. Okay, it's very interesting. So. Thank you. Thirteen children is that? Yeah, okay. thirteen virile. Okay, and so uh, I mean. 13 children, that's a lot of, um, you know, mouths to feed. Um, well, so I mean, partnership, buddy. Together? It's, uh, you, you know, there's a lot of uh, compromise with with the mothers you know, of these I, babies. Because, um, right. you know, 13. That's a lot of uh, commitments and responsibilities and... Does it take you that long to say that? Birthdays, maybe. Yeah, birthdays. Okay, I have a manager. Okay, he gets birthday cards together. I sign them. Okay, get presents together. We send them away. Oh, okay. Guess um, living that superstar, rock star life. I guess you know. Well, I mean, yeah, look at me. Everybody has their own thing, and it's you don't want to. You don't want to begrudge anyone for their lifestyles, right? Well, everything you... is just as good as everything else. No. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So let's um let's see if we can just keep let's just keep as fast as we can. Let's just keep going. <laughs> no, I it's, it's not that. Yeah. You got to keep it together, though, man. Just, our, I, my producers over here are, are saying it's we have a commercials coming up, and we gotta we gotta break before. Um, okay. That's all right. You're thirty minutes about it up, anyways. I got I got shit to do. Then, I got more so, interviews. Thank you for being on the show. Real okay. interviews. I um. It has been. It has been something. It's been. It's been really enlightening, mm -hmm. and I, guess I bet it has. You shared some information with everyone today. I would say maybe um, let's 
wrap it up in the post show and we can sort of figure out uh, if there's any corrections to what was said if there's anything, I, is there anything extra that needs to be added that maybe would be I uh, choose my words deliberately helpful. to the okay. viewers that, that might be good uh, as always oh, no, we, I we thank be you so around? much for sticking around okay. everyone oh, yeah. especially today especially um, for this special oh, wrap it up special show okay and i will i will let begrudgingly he has requested and i signed the documents without knowing okay there's fine print get a lawyer everything. okay i can't i there's so much pressure okay i can't read everything He is, Are you done? Uh, requested, and I have somehow agreed. I maybe I was inebriated. I don't know um, that he will get the last word in, and then uh, I will see you in the post show. Uh, Godspeed to you. Well, okay. You drink the rest of that beer, and I'll I'll wrap it up. Okay. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm going to leave the hair on. But this is fucking hilarious and awesome. That picture there is actually a family of... Not a family. I was going to make a joke about how that's one, uh, four of my... What is that? Four, yeah, four of my 13 children. But um, two of those, you guys obviously know, are my children. The other two are nieces and nephews. And those are my parents. But family's actually really important. <laughs> okay. Um, this show is specifically designed to be funny and an antithesis to um, what actual information you should be getting for streaming. You can find that information in the 35 pages I have written in the past week on the Discord. Go there and look at it. Or you can stick around I may actually answer um, as, as real me and not drballasaurusrex.com. Um, I'm actually going to push the show just to the post because there's no fucking chance of reading questions right now on this thing. It's real hot. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's been super duper fun. Uh, I will talk to all you guys in just a few minutes. Hold still. Mashkertis, thank you. You've been a great host. Okay? Just keep chewing your nails. You look great. You look great, buddy. Okay? I'll see you guys in a minute.